A lot of people are using data, like a drunken man use a lamppost for support rather than illumination. Because there is so much data, managers tend to say, let me see what the data says. Let me see what's in there in the data. And in my mind, that's a big no-no in the world of, of data-driven decision-making. You shouldn't expect the data to provide both the question and the answer. You should think about what is it that you want to get from the data, what type of business problems can the data help with, and hopefully then, if you ask the question appropriately and you use the right tools, there is a chance that the data actually can provide the answer. But we tend to use big data as this exploratory source of information and hope that something will emerge rather than actually asking precise questions and then hopefully getting good answers from big data. In my mind, the value of big data is actually not so much in the length of the data, it's not in the millions of customers or observations that we observe, but rather in the, in the, in the depth of the data or, or in the breadth of the data. It is in very rare cases where you really need millions of observations to derive insights. In most cases, if you analyze 1,000 customers versus 1 million, you'll, you'll derive about the same insights. One of the exceptions to that would be cases where we actually want to personalize and target our offering. And in that case, I do want the information ab about each customer. A good example for that would be electronic health records, because now I can observe about every patient their full history of their interactions with a physician in, in this hospital, maybe in other os hospitals as well. We can, for example, help people with chronic diseases better manage their disease. We can even uh, offload some of the work from physicians to nurse pr practitioners because they all observe the same data and, and the richness of this data. So it's really more about the breadth of the data than about the length of the data.